Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Portal Masters of all ages. This is Brylander with Portal Power TV, coming to you with another episode of Skylanders Reimaginators. And in this episode, we are making Ghastly from Pokemon. In our last video, we did Mewtwo. Figured I was kind of on the Pokemon theme, so let's just stick with it. And as you may have heard my other video, I had to remake that video. Well, I also have to remake this one. This is the second time I'm making this video, so... Audio was really bad in the last video. Hopefully it's better in this one. But it was so bad, I had to remake it. But anyway, um, we're going to be making um, Ghastly. Ghastly kind of is a simple um, Pokemon to create. Um, however, um, you know, there's some thought process to going in here. So I did go ahead and choose for Ghastly. Um, we're going to go with an undead uh, crystal. And we're going to go ahead and make him into a ninja. Welcome to the Creation Crystal Portal Master. Here you can create your very own Imaginator. First choose a battle class. Each class uses a unique type of weapon. So again, we're going to make a ninja. Because as you can see there, the ninjas are basically just a head with arms and legs. And uh, Ghastly is just a sphere. So we're going to try to minimize the arms and the legs enough where you really almost don't notice they're there and it's just the ball. Uh, that's there. Ninja Imaginators are small and nimble, trained in the way of the throwing star. Are you ready to create a ninja? Choosing a battle class. I am. I'm ready to create a ninja. Boom! A new ninja is born. Now, bring your imagination to life. All right, and in the blink of an eye, we have our ninja. We also just leveled him up to level 7, so we can get straight into creation mode. So uh, with this, we got looks, body, and head. I used to go ahead. I used to go all the way at the top and start, but I realized it took a long time for all these heads to populate. So I actually come down to the bottom, and typically everything populates a little faster. So anyway, I'm going to be looking for a particular head. Um, let's see, it's called Spore Man. So as soon as the rest of these tend to populate, the heads take longer because there's 128 of them there. But usually once it works its way down here to the bottom, just like that, then I can go ahead and scroll through all of them. So I'm looking for Spore Man. It's right there. That's the head I want. On the eyes, um, let's see, I'm going to pick that. Nope, we're going to go with the cat eyes. And then on the ears, no ears, arms. Um, I really don't think most of this stuff really even matters. So, um, again, go to the bottom, start there. I think we're just going to go with bare arms because I'm going to make them so small you really can't see their, them there anyway. And kind of same thing for the legs, except I did want, uh, there was a specific set of legs that I wanted. Um, and I think it was these right here, the buggy legs. And then no tail. So and on the weapon, I thought the coolest weapon... All together for him were these Chaos Shurikens. And gear. Do I have any gear on him? Okay, well, yes. So, I don't want any headgear because that would show. But shoulder guards. Shoulder guards will not show up on the ninjas. So this is one of those where I can pick pretty much whatever I want. Um, I want something. I like armor and speed. Um, so let me there. There's 20 armor and speed right there. So I'm going to put those on him. And notice they don't actually show up on the figure, so I can pick whatever I want, but it helps me out and gives me good stats. So, and arm guards, uh, as long as I pick something really small, kind of like these right here, um, they're not really going to show up too much once I shrink everything down. And same thing kind of with the leg guards. I think if I went with um, like these, so to speak, um, those aren't going to really show up that much. So, uh, and then no backpack. So like I said, with sizing, on the height, I want it all the way down. Upper body, that makes the head bigger. Low muscles, low body. You almost don't even see that they're there. They're so tiny. And then color, this one's kind of easy. Now this is one of the only times I use the overall theme as opposed to picking all my color parts individually like with part themes. So on the overall theme, um, I just go over till I find the licorice, I think it's called black licorice everything turns black there and then on the eyes uh, the custom eyes we're just going with the white on those uh, as far as that goes so that gives us our eyes 
and uh, oh, sorry, aura. Definitely have an aura on here, and it is this magic elemental, which gives him that purple, ghastly uh, aura that he actually has um, in the Pokemon games. So that's what one of his defining characteristics. So we've got that magic aura on him, and uh, makes that purple, gassy, you know, type of thing. And for powers, um, I've got him going throwing ninja stars all around. Um, the tombstone timber. I actually want to put this on here, the contagion, because this is like he's a poison. You know, he has a poison, so uh, this is going to be the closest thing to that. Uh, and on knife storm, we'll just leave the knives uh, raining down from that perspective. And we don't have enough money to do our soul gem at this point, so no reason looking at that. Personality name. Ghastly. Does this mean I have to change my driver's license? Yes, it does. And voice. Um, okay, bye. Bye, same thing as with Mewtwo. I just didn't bother putting a voice on him. I'll be honest, I am not familiar with him having a voice. Uh, I'm sure I'm wrong, and I'm sure I will be told in the comments below exactly what kind of voice he has so you guys can correct me down there but for now I'm just not giving him one so if uh, I am gonna chirp him out at the end of the video and so if you do download him feel free to add that voice and then tell me which one uh, what you end up picking and so forth we'll go with from there uh, but this is ghastly so we've got a little ball running around with a pink or a purple blob kind of fog around him that looks like gassy to me. Carrying around some shurikens. Surprise attack. But here's the contagion. So he's got his poison. And notice it affects and, and infects the um, enemies. And if they get close to each other, they'll actually get each other. So that's about the closest thing we got to a poison, so to speak. And there's the, the knife, the shurikens up in the air, raining down on everybody. And there's his contagion again. That's our acting poison. And this should finish us up on this level. Oop, nope, more. You guys are toast. Take this. Poison, poison, poison. Huzzah! For the Skylanders. Huzzah for the Skylanders! Those baddies had a chest full of gear you, you might, might be, be interested, interested in. That's my little mimic of Blobber. My daughter's shaking her head at me. I don't know if it's because she thinks I I'm, I suck at making that that Blobber voice or that I'm just crazy. So probably a little of both. New night weapon. Oh, a night weapon. I just, what I want to have is carry around a saw. A hand saw. Alright. So there's Ghastly. Guys, let me know what you think. Oh, oh, oh. Let's, let's do a magic moment real quick. We'll pull him off. We'll put him right back on. What do you think? Is that Ghastly? I think it's Ghastly. And last but not least, we also have our church. Chirp, chirp. Go down here. Here's the chirp. If you're not familiar with it, pause this. This will kind of tell you a little bit about what the uh, creator app is all about. If you don't already have it, go and download it. It's free. And if you do have it, here's the instructions for what I'm about to do. So here's the chirp in three, two, and one. You know, that almost sounds like R2-D2 uh, as a broken record. Because all the chirps and stuff like that sounds like he's just chewing somebody out for stepping on his toe or something. I don't know. R2-D2 doesn't really have toes, I guess, does he? So, anyway, that's it. Did we do everything we're supposed to do in these videos? Yep. Created. Magic moment. Chirped him out. Let's see if I jump up in the air and then catch him. Ooh, look, he's spinning. Oh, am I looking at his butt? Is that his butt? Oh gosh, please, that's not his butt. Here, let me fast forward a little bit. 
Where is he? He's spinning too fast. I can't see. Oh, well. Anyway, guys, this is Brylander with Portal Power TV signing off. Take care. See you in the next video, and God bless.